Hello. In this video, we're going to talk about building your buyer's list. Um, if you are a current student of mine, then you would be receiving a totally different video with all of the different methods that I use to build a very strong buyer's list. This is just to give you an idea of a little bit of my teaching methods and uh, how it is that I could show you how you could be successful investing in real estate. So uh, you'll be able to monitor these new videos as they get posted, but again, they will not be the videos that I actually train my students from. Those are much more entailed. Um, they have all the different methods that we use. And um, I suggest to anybody that's not a member yet to come on board. We have a lot of great things happening. And um, I have a lot of successful students from all around the country. So by all means, you need to get signed up as soon as possible and get started with this. And then you'll be receiving uh, the videos and the links to where you could actually go and get the video training. So it's not just reading a book. Um, you're also going to have video training to back it up. Plus, you'll be able to speak with me live on the phone, one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, we will put a, a plan of action together for you, a step-by-step -step plan that you can follow um, to help ensure your success. Okay, with that said, let's get into building your buyer's list. Um, every step that I outline in my courses are equally important. Uh, if you were to find a house and not have an investor lined up to assign your contract to, uh, you may lose the deal. If you put a contract on a house but didn't determine the as-is value and the after-repair value correctly, you may lose the deal. Um, there's an outline that I give you in the course that you follow step-by-step, step, and that will tell you exactly what to offer on any property. Um, I feel it's best to have a strong buyer's list in place before you put any properties under contract. Um, this way, uh, when you place a contract on a property, you already know what you're going to do with it. You know what your exit strategy is. You know you're going to flip it to Joe, the investor down the road, or Frank who's looking for a property in this uh, zip code or this uh, neighborhood, that kind of stuff. So you want to have a very strong buyer's list so you could actually move these properties. Um, when I place a contract on a property, again, I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. I also know what I will be able to perform on that contract and make money because my investors are ready to buy. I have already weeded out all the newbie investors that want to try and flip the same contracts to another investor, and uh, this is a waste of time. Um, I only deal with investors that can close. I suggest that you weed out the investors that respond to your ads. Uh, you don't want to lose any deals because the investor could not close. I prefer to deal with cash investors. I also deal with investors that use hard money. Uh, you'll be able to ask a few questions to determine if they are for real or not. Uh, anytime you do have a deal also, um, you will be taking a non-refundable deposit of a minimum of $1,000. So if I have a house and I put it under contract for $65,000 and it's worth $100,000 and I'm going to assign that contract to Mr. Joe Investor down the road, I am going to uh, use the assignment contract that I provide in my course and I'm going to take a thousand dollar non-refundable deposit. Um, if he does not close on this deal within a specified amount of time and what we had discussed, then he loses his thousand dollars and I go and I sell it to another investor. Uh, this has happened to me before and I have kept a thousand dollars. It is not refundable and I suggest that you operate your business in the same way. Okay. Um, now, again, if they're not real, they're just going to try to tie up this house to go and flip to another investor. So you really want to watch that. That's the point of taking the money down. A real investor, if he's going to step up and buy this property or rehab it, he is going to give you the non-refundable deposit because you have done your homework, the numbers are good, the deal is good, and he wants the deal. Another wholesaler is going to try to just do an assignment with you of the contract and try to go ahead and stick their hands in the middle of the deal. And you want to avoid that at all costs because uh, I'm sure there's ones that have closed, but uh, I haven't heard of any that ever successfully closed by doing a double, triple, or even a quadruple flip. Um, it just doesn't make any sense, so stay away from that. There's a few steps you can use. Of course, there's a ton of information I can give you, which I do in my course, but I'm only going to give you a few ideas here of how you can build a buyer's list very quickly and for free. Um, you know, you could join a local investment club, go to their first free meeting. Um, as you're down there, you can get everyone's business cards that say they are buyers. You could tell them that you're a wholesaler, you're just getting started. You need people to buy your properties. Um, classified ads, you can call up all the classified ads, the people who advertise, we buy houses, um, we close quick, all that kind of stuff. Um, stop foreclosure, call those guys, um, find out what it is they want, find out where it is they're investing, and um, you know, go ahead and locate properties for them that you can assign to them and flip to them. 
another way is uh, mailers to contractors. You can put letters out to contractors, letting them know what it is that you do. And when they come across deals like that, um, you know they can recommend you, or they can actually give you the lead. And then you can go ahead and um, you know flip that house off again, uh, build a strong buyer's list. Um, foreclosure auctions is something that I did uh, by going down to the auction in my state. Uh, they have to pay. The auctions held once the first Tuesday of every month, and they have to pay cash or cashier's check, and they have to buy the property within 30 minutes of the time that they win the auction. So you can bet that these guys are cash buyers and they have the money to buy these houses. A lot of these houses they're buying, they're buying sight unseen. Um, when people are being foreclosed on, they're usually not very receptive to letting you into their house to take a look around and see what work needs to be done. And then by the time they actually moved out, trust me, they didn't care what they banged up or you know who knows what they took with them. So these investors are really rolling the dice here and they're buying houses that a lot of times they know nothing about. So they would love to find someone like you that could go and negotiate the deal out and all they have to do is go to the closing table. Um, they get to come out to the house, they get to see the property, they get to uh, go ahead and do their own assessment of repair costs and uh, then they can go ahead and negotiate with you on your deal depending on how much you're asking for uh, an assignment fee. So those are a few ways that you can get started. If you order my course at www.wholesaleforcash.com uh, and become part of my mentoring group, um, you will get all this information. You will get the videos that my students get um, that is all video training about everything that we talk about in the book. So not only do you get to read it and talk to me about it and talk to me on the phone about deals and whatever else it is that you need and have unlimited email access to me, you also get to watch videos um, reiterating everything that I talk about in the book and all the different methods and the different ideas that we have uh, to show you how to be successful. So again, uh, all you have to do is follow the steps that we lay out for you on your first phone consultation and um, you'll be off and running. So uh, again, uh, www.wholesaleforcash.com.